never knew how to tell you. I would tell be able what? to talk about my Can life. You what? Can I, I ever loved a lot. Yeah, I have a two yeah, arms. You want me to say it out loud? The look, the feel, a second skin. Cool, black, and nerveless, dulling the senses, yet giving everything an edge. And chaps, tight, hugging the legs, focusing sensations. And a jacket full of history, Gold Coast, the spike, mine shaft, hidden door, jewels. More than the bars, it's people, old friends, tricks, lovers. Leather armor. And gloves, thin, tight. And a cap, sends a message, cuts through a lot of games. Hankies, armbands, keys. You know what you're getting right from the start. I like to serve. I like to submit and serve. Bootlicking is a sign of respect. For power, for trust, for image. It gives me a sense of perspective. For a while, I can allow myself to become that animal. Needy, eager to please, willing to do anything to gain that recognition. I can just surrender, leave reality behind. I can step out of myself become an object, a possession. It's a gift, the giving of someone into my control to receive his body, his life, his energy, responsibility, and the trust, absolute trust. I trust him, I give him myself, and he respects me for that. It's because of that trust and respect that we can play together. He knows I would never harm him or take him anywhere he didn't want to go. I'm the guide, but he has the map. I'm the driver, he fuels the car. Bondage is freedom. can't move, I can't resist, and resistance represents my ego. So when I experience bondage, that decision has been taken away. I no longer can listen to the ego saying I can't do that because I'm no longer in control. You get the guilt and the ego out of the way and anything is possible. All you're left with are new opportunities and new sensations and things that you haven't experienced. And that's a pretty wonderful place to be because I fully trust my master. I can let it happen without any fear. I come from an abusive background and SM in a strange way has helped me work out a lot of that rage because it's play, it's not, it's not serious violence. Uh, my personal growth has come through s and &M. Everything as a human being is physical, mental, and spiritual. And there are no boundaries, really. Personally, I don't feel like I... I really go anywhere except within. 
I hear a lot of talk about out-of-body experience. I'm looking to have more of a, as much as an in-body experience as I can stand. And then it takes on a whole new intensity. Uh, the intensity of two souls meeting for a, a purpose. And it becomes more than just an act. It becomes a ritual, but a ritual uh, like a dance. Whips are brushes. Strokes, some soft, some hard, carefully measured or bold, broad swipes. First a background, a dawn sky, warm and red, then images. Strong lines, branching like trees, a landscape far from here and now. Sound, passion, energy, strength, submission, release, all part of it. Maybe it's chemical or psychological. Maybe it's metaphysical. After the scene is over, uh, the reaction and what it's done for them. Uh, usually the people that I've played with, it's extremely cathartic for them. It's a really wonderful stress release. Uh, I don't define SM as sadomasochism at all. I don't consider myself sadistic, I don't consider myself masochistic. Um, I, I define it as, as sensual magic. Ritual. Giving everything a framework, a sense of direction. Without sight, the darkness wraps secure and sensations blaze like headlights. Hot, cold, the same. And the hot droplets rain down, swarming, stinging, a thousand bees. absolute trust. I can relax and be myself. I don't have to worry about who I'm going to be. I'm just going to be me. That's, that's safe and that's what trust is. And I value trust over love. Really, I do. I open myself to you. I reach deep inside my soul, where you are safe, assured, no longer bound, but bonded. With you, I can release the beast inside me, and once freed, the beast is tamed. 